InDesign documents often contain links to graphics and text files. One of the things that makes InDesign so powerful is that we can, in fact, create links to documents and not have to have multiple copies of them floating around inside of our InDesign documents. It makes our InDesign documents smaller and allows us to reuse and maintain current versions of graphics in our InDesign documents. Browse to your Chapter 3 folder in your project files and select the Chapter 3 saleflyer.indd. You'll get a message that says that the document contains six links to sources that are missing. We're going to fix this problem now. Click OK to dismiss the dialog. I'm in the Essentials workspace. If you're not in the Essentials workspace, feel free to switch to it or make sure that you're in a workspace that allows you to see the Links panel. To open the Links panel, click it. You'll see that I have four links in the document. The four links also have question marks that look like stop signs. This is a pretty good visual indicator that something isn't quite right. One of the great features of InDesign CS5 is that it allows us to relink missing graphics to contents of a folder. All of the links for this particular document happen to be in a folder in the Chapter 3 folder. Let's fix all the links at once. Click on the first link, the Plucky Pony logo PDF. Hold down your Shift key and then click on wagonrev.psd. You'll notice that all four links are now selected. I'd like to update these links now. In the drop-down menu in the upper right-hand corner of the Links panel, you'll find Relink, Relink to Folder, and Relink File Extension. We're going to use right now Relink to Folder. This allows us to relink all of the missing links with the contents of a folder. We have some choices to make. First of all, I can match the same file name and extension, and that's the default behavior. But I can also match the same name but this file extension. This is a way for you to use low-resolution JPEG graphics, for instance, and then replace them later on with high-resolution TIFFs. All you need is the same file name with the TIFF extension on it. Browse to the folder called New Links in your Chapter 3 folder. I happen to have it selected now. Once you're there, click Choose. You'll notice that you cannot pick any of the links here. We're browsing for a folder, not for a file. Once you've found the New Links folder inside of the Chapter 3 folder, click Choose. InDesign has now located all of the missing graphics. If there's an individual graphic that you need to relink, you can do that as well. Select the Wagon Rev, and then you can relink it to another graphic. Just to see the difference, let's replace it with one of the other toys. To relink a graphic, you can choose Relink from the Flyout menu like we chose before, or you can choose the Relink button at the bottom of the panel. This is the Relink button. Click it, and now we can browse to a different picture. Select the New Links folder, open it, and then choose the item J0398803, and it's the airplane. If you're following along on Windows, you may get a slightly different display. Nonetheless, do select the JPEG called J0398803. When you've got it selected, click Open. You'll see now that the wagon has been replaced by an airplane. You'll also see in the Links panel that we now have two instances of the one graphic. InDesign helps us by combining references to graphics into one link. This allows us very quickly to see how many times a graphic is used in the document. This picture is used twice, and the Plucky Pony logo is used three times. It may also happen when you open a document that you're missing fonts. We can search for and replace fonts in a document using the Find Font function. This is found under the Type menu. Select Type, and then choose Find Font. Find Font allows you to choose a font in the document 
and then replace it with a font in your operating system. Let's change Adobe Garamond Pro Bold to Minion Pro Bold. Select Adobe Garamond Pro Bold and then down in the family choose Minion Pro which is the default font for InDesign. My font list may be different from yours but you will have Minion Pro installed as it does install with InDesign. Under Font Style let's choose Bold. Another option here is to redefine a style when changing all the fonts. This allows us to change not only fonts that we can select, but also fonts that may be defined in a text style. We'll talk about text styles in detail in another chapter. For now, we'll leave that unchecked. We can find the first place in the document where Adobe Garamond Pro Bold is used by clicking Find First. If we move the Find Font dialog out of the way, we should see a selection. You can see the word Discount Coupon has been selected. I can tell InDesign to change and then find, and it will change that font and find the next instance of that font. It's found it over there on the left. I can click Change Find to find the next instance. Or I could choose Change All, and then all the places where Adobe Garamond Pro Bold is used will be replaced by Minion Pro Bold. You'll notice that Adobe Garamond Pro Bold has disappeared from the list and has been replaced with Minion Pro Bold. We can learn more about the Minion Pro Bold font by selecting it. If I click More Info, I get more information about the font. I'll move this up to see it better. You can see that I've used 79 characters, that it's in use on page 1, and also what its name is and the path to the font. This is actually really handy because a lot of times, particularly on a Macintosh, you may find that you have conflicting fonts. And this is one way that you can find a font on a Macintosh computer and know which one InDesign believes it should use for the document. You could also choose Reveal in Finder or Reveal in Explorer on a Windows computer. If you have missing fonts in the document, they'll show up in this list as well, but they'll show up with an indicator that they are in fact missing. You can choose to replace them, or you can install a font. If you install the font in your computer, then InDesign will show this font as not being missing any longer. When you're done replacing your fonts, click Done. I'd like to undo the change that I did to my fonts because I don't actually like the change. Under the Edit menu, choose Undo Replace Font. The fonts that I replaced have now gone back to the way they were before. Let's save this document as the corrected links sale flyer. Choose File, Save As, and change its name to Chapter 3 Sale Flyer Corrected Links. When you're done typing, click Save. Make sure it's in the Chapter 3 folder. When you're done, you can close the document.